micellar. Hey everyone and thank you so much for joining me again. Um, today's video is going to be a review video and a demonstration video on how to use and how I feel, well I guess the first impressions on the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleaning Cleansing Waters. Um, the difference between the two is that the blue top um, this one is for waterproof mascara if you're using waterproof and this one is just for any type of mascara um, So I actually did a video on this look which I'll be posting up first So then you'll get this video afterwards and I'll link it down in the description bar below It says here all-in-one removes makeup plus cleanses and refreshes no rinse no harsh rubbing face lips eyes all skin types even sensitive both of them are for sensitive skin as well um, it says a little bit of information. It says uh, directions, um, saturate a cotton pad to remove eye makeup, hold pad over closed eyes for a few seconds, then gently wipe without harsh rubbing. To cleanse skin and remove face uh, makeup, gently wipe all over until skin is completely clean from makeup and impurities. Use daily AM and PM, no need to rinse. So dermatologist tested for safety. Um, it says it's ophthalmologist tested and it says it won't clog pores so i'm hoping these really do work because they were very inexpensive they were two dollar off coupons in the newspaper um and they were buy one get one half off they're originally 9.95 so i basically for 15 bucks got both of them but then i had two two dollar off coupons i really bought both of them for 10 bucks which i think is great and i really want to see if this works better than my derma blend which i think it's like 20 bucks for the large one so let's see how they work um, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my lashes off first now i'm going to just take these little cotton rounds and i'm going to soak my cotton round with the Garnier uh, Skin Active Cleanser. I'm kind of just really drenching them. So let's see how good these work. This says for eye makeup, you want to kind of I'm really not putting hardly any pressure. That cleaned really good. Took a lot off. Uh, so far, it really works really well. So here is my makeup side and here is the side that took everything off. This did a great job. I have no complaints whatsoever. Now I'm gonna do the other side with the one that says um, waterproof. Well, now I didn't put waterproof mascara on but I wanna see if this just takes it off of the makeup a little quicker. Again, I'm gonna take my little towelettes. I'm gonna just drench them in there. Let's see how these work.
so I'm all done as you can tell they both worked very well I do feel that the side where I used the one for the waterproof makeup I feel like that side feels really oily um, and then this side dried really quickly and doesn't feel oily at all it feels actually nice and dry but this really feels really nasty and oily and i really don't like that feel um but i guess because it's for waterproof mascara they needed to have to take the um the long lasting makeup off i prefer to use the regular one i usually don't use waterproof mascara to be honest with you because they really do break your lashes um so i think that i'm going to be very happy buying this and rebuying this um next time once it's gone i really i don't even like the taste or the smell of the blue one this one kind of just is too oily and it tastes kind of nasty this one really feels good my skin feels clean and it does not feel feel oily it does feel like water on the face and i'm really happy to be using this so i definitely am going to be using this from now on probably going to be having it take over the bioderma and i'm really happy to have reviewed this anyway i hope this helps and here i am barefaced uh thanks for watching and please subscribe send me a message if you have any questions please uh send a comment down below and i'll see you guys soon also please uh follow me on instagram makeup it's at makeup by sue lee um or on twitter at sue lady uh 